Yo, 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 it's Herder of Buffalo, guys, coming back at you today with another gameplay commentary. Man, I love doing these commentaries. When I start off a commentary, I always get that sort of feeling that I'm going to be giving something back to the Call of Duty community. Um, you know, we all play this game for the love of the game, and I'm playing this game with the commentary for the love of the game and the commentary. So, whoa, let's start up with what this gameplay was. It was a domination gameplay with my boys Raven and Eternal Chopper, and it was on C-Town, and yes, I'm using my favourite gun, the MK14, and it was a Moab, and, you know, suddenly, Buffalo seems to be beasted on this game, and I've now got a couple, I've I pretty much doubled my Moab count in the last week than what I had previously, so, you know, always good and love and war, baby, so, you know, I'm having some real good fun with it, and things, I'm not too sure what it is, I don't know if it's because I've changed my play style, I'm back to playing my defensive, you know, more defensively, you see me pretty much here just protecting B for most of the game, and you know, that is where I mean, what's going on here. Oh, god, get up, beast. Ah. Um, yeah, I just I just thought I'd bring you this commentary this Saturday afternoon because there's a couple of things I want to speak about. And I'm getting a phone call right now, so I'm going to ignore that because I've got some beasting commentaries to do. You see me there, pick up those three guys to pick up my final specialist before the bonus. And what do I want to be speaking about today? And basically, I just want to talk to you guys about lifestyles and how you can fit YouTube around pretty much anything and everything. And the good thing about doing these YouTube videos is not everything not everything that you do, not the gameplay, the commentary, not, it doesn't ha all have to be done at once. You see, you can record a gameplay from, say, two weeks ago, and then you can conduct the commentary and then upload it a week later. You, you know, everything can be broken down into stages depending on how much time you've got. You see me there, Raven calls me a goon. Raven's a goon. But, um, yeah, you can split the things up and that's what I love about doing this thing because I don't really have to dedicate a certain amount of time and, you know, a certain day or a certain section of a day in order to be fulfilling my YouTube commitment. And, you know, that's why I advise people who perhaps haven't really, you know, got a proper channel where they're uploading videos and doing commentaries I just advise people to do it just because you know it's fun it's not that time consuming if you know you know split the things up I usually if I'm honest I usually just you know do the commentary once I've got the gameplay and then upload it straight away but I've got into the sort of habit now of recording the gameplay a week later I'll do the commentary and get it ready to upload because suddenly due to my like you know my different play style that I'm adopting at the moment I seem to be getting so many more gameplays which means the commentaries I seem to have so much more to upload and you know that leads me to speak about school and you know I speak about school quite a lot so please don't turn the video off if you think I'm just going to be repeating myself because I'm not I've had some more problems this week at school to do with my sick form you know my liaison people and you know the people in authority the annoying ones but you know we still like them but um yeah they're just saying that I'm behind and haven't been catching up on work and their thing is that I've been missing lessons and yeah that's true I have been missing lessons but the reason I've been missing lessons is because when the lessons are on I've had exams and I don't know if they understand this but you know if I've got an exam I'm not gonna turn up to my lesson I, I think I know what's more important I think you know any two-year-old or four-year-old watching this video will also know what's more important so you know it just oh, it really pisses me off so yeah I just thought I'd you know let you guys know about that because people need to know and people need to realize how annoyed buffalo gets at all this shit she's wang ding dang and all that jazz but um yeah i don't really care my name is peter griffin still so um you know i'm just gonna go to school and you know enjoy myself and keep playing call of duty and bringing you guys some commentary <laughs> god i've just realized that really was not a good peter griffin so you know ignore that if you haven't already check out my peter griffin and stewie tactical insurgent torture video because you know that was quite an old video now, and since then I've gained quite a few more subscribers. So I think you guys would really benefit from checking that one out because it'll give you the laughs. But anyway, back to lifestyles, and yeah, I'm gonna try to link um, what I've been doing on Call of Duty to the different ways in which you can interpret life. And life is like a puzzle, and a puzzle can either be done fast or you can struggle with it, and that's the same with life. If you really grab it and, you know, take all the opportunities that are given to you, you'll succeed and you'll do good. And things will come to you thick and fast. And it's like on this game. If you start to try hard, you'll do good. And, you know, if you're messing around, you're going to do bad. It's all the same sort of principle. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd leave you with that because I was thinking about it earlier. 
and you know I'm not I'm not the sort of person who you know speaks a load of shit well well actually no that's a massive lie because I do speak a load of rubbish but in terms of you know philosophical things I'm not too high up on it but that's just, that's just the way I look at life if you try hard at something you're going to succeed if you don't try hard or you can't be bothered you're not going to succeed and that's the attitude I'm going to get in a school you see me get the mob there beast mode and um yeah I just think I need to knuckle down a little bit more but that doesn't mean I'm going to be slacking on the YouTube front because it's all laid back. YouTube's a chilled out thing. It's something you don't want to take too seriously. And, you know, that's why my commentaries are like they are. I don't really... I'm not that mu I'm not really that knowledgeable about the game. So, I just tend to speak about little things here and there. Like, if there's something special that I do in a the gameplay, then I'll talk about that. If not, then it's just going to be the random shebang, bang, boom, boom. Because that's the way I roll. And you see me there running to two guys. And that leads me into another little thing. And that is prioritizing your gunfights. And I'm going to be uploading a video in the next couple of weeks where there's a load of clips that I've been gathering up about where I've prioritized and ended up benefiting. Like, you see there, like, which guy could I have gone for first? I went for the front guy because the back guy's got a longer distance in which to fire at me from. It's just basic things like that. And that's the sort of thing I'm going to be doing to try to improve my videos when it comes to giving out tips. But anyway, guys, this commentary is coming to a pretty swift end. Once again, I think I've blabbed on. And, you know, please let me know if you find these commentaries boring or annoying because I know that I do keep, you know, going into loads of different shit and stuff. But if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to rate it. And there's plenty more stuff coming up. I've got a couple of dual commentaries coming up soon with a few guys who I've met on YouTube. And, you know, they're really interested in doing dual com. But anyway, guys, it's been your boy, Header of Buffalo. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Like it. Peace.